Hello there. Welcome to SAS TV. So in this video, we are going to implement an endpoint to delete an employee. And to do that, we are going to use the word HTTP delete. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the HTTP delete word and then we'll mention the route. Inside the route, we'll say ID. So this will be a delete endpoint and it will take uh, an ID input, correct? Okay, now let's write the function signature public pool delete employee and we'll take the ID here. All right, so the next thing should be to write the validations first. So let's start with the validation if the ID is less than zero. In that case, we just throw an exception saying employee ID cannot be less than zero right okay let's go with the next one now we should check if the employee actually exists for this id right so for that we'll write a link you query so let's write it where employee to be deleted equals from el n employee list so this is the existing list from where we will be checking where el dot id equal equals the id we are taking as an input correct all right now let's select the employee and see the first or default so if there is any row for this id we'll get it else the employee to be deleted will be null and now let's check if the employee to be deleted equal equals null so this means uh, there was no such employee for that particular ID. So what do we do in that case? We just throw an exception saying employee doesn't exist. By the way, you must be seeing I'm using a dollar sign and curly braces here, right? So this is called string interpolation. If you have no idea about it, please do read about this in the internet. This is very helpful. Okay. So now since we are throwing the exception, if the employee to be deleted is null, the cursor will only come here when the employee does exist, right? So in that case, let's just delete the employee from the employee list, right? So to do that, we will write employee list dot remove and inside the brackets will say employee to be deleted so that's it this will get our job done correct and finally let's return true all right now let's put this inside our try catch block okay let's write the catch block let's take the exception and inside the catch block let's throw the exception awesome so that's it. We are ready with the code now. Let's run and check it. All right. So the solution is up and running now. Let's go in Postman, open up a new tab. So I have this URL ready here. Let's copy it and change this to delete and paste the URL. So we don't need a body for this delete endpoint. Hence, we will not be providing any. And um, for the ID, Let's provide a proper ID first and check if the delete endpoint is working properly. And after that, we are going to check the validations. All right. So let's put a breakpoint first and then check. So I click on send. Let's go forward. So what is the ID? The ID is two, correct? Were we able to fetch the employee? Yes, we were able to fetch him. So since the employee to be deleted was not null, we didn't throw any exception. And finally, we'll be removing the employee from the employee list. So this is the employee. And once I execute this line, I shouldn't see this, see it here. So as you can see here, right? Count, count is four. And if you now see it, the ID is three. After the ID 1, the ID is now 3. So the second ID or the employee for Elon Musk is deleted now. Great. Let's check the validations now. 
let's provide something like minus 10 and see what is the output This is the output. Employee ID cannot be less than zero. Awesome. Now let's give an integer value which is greater than zero, but the ID doesn't exist in the employee list. Something like 100. Let's click on send. So it's an exception. Let's see it here in the window. Employee 100 doesn't exist. Awesome. So it works absolutely fine. So that's it. That's how you delete an employee from an employee list, right? With this, we are done with the first section of this playlist. So in the next section, we will be covering this many topics. So hang tight and wait for our videos. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to support us, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Tell me that you love me